to pad two of the Jerry McCrory Countryside Sports Complex here in Sudbury. We're game between the French River Rapids and the Sioux Eagles. It's sent down into the Sioux Eagles end off the opening faceoff. Hendry grabs it and chips it up. Haslam has it, throws it back in. Stringer for the Rapids comes and takes a shot. Deflected by the goalie up over the glass into the netting for the first faceoff. 23 seconds into play. Sioux Eagles looking to go 2-0 during their time here, defeating the Kirkland Lake Gold Miners yesterday. And French River dropping their opening game to the Espanola Paper Kings. So the face-off is just to the glove side of Sioux Eagles goaltender. And the puck is down the Rapids, win the draw, Haslam has it. Tries to flip it towards the net, but misses the puck, so he flips it into the corner. And they control the puck there. Slides down around. Players slammed into the boards, and there's scramble for the puck. The Sioux Eagles have it and fire it out. Haslam collects it. Tips it back up to his forward. Lefebvre is in there with the puck. Scrambling around. Shot off, big pad save. Belanger for the Eagles collects it. Spins around his end, passes it across to a line mate. And Kulis for the Rapids grabs the puck in the ice and shoots it up over the boards. So far a decent amount of pressure here in the Sioux Eagles end. 18.56, just over a minute. Starting outside of the French River Rapids zone. Hopefully they're able to get something started early here. The Rapids win the draw there. Coolis picks it up in his own end. Throws it behind the net and there's a scramble for the puck there. Couple of players from each team. The Eagles walk away with the puck. Spin out around in the corner. The Rapids nearly get away from them. Fortson for the Eagles grabs it, loses it. The Rapids try to chip it out. Ends up going back into the corner. They throw it around to the far side and they're able to clear the line, but the Eagles control the puck back into their own zone. They throw it back up and try to chip it out to the center, but misses any of their own players, skates to a rapid. He dumps it in. The Eagles pick it up behind their own net and start their breakout. Throw it off the boards. Comes back down to a Rapids defenseman who throws it back down to the Eagles' end. The Eagles pick it up behind their net. P drop pass to Hope, who tries to shoot it up towards Fortson. He's not able to get it, but Olin grabs it, comes in, but Dolan was just slightly offside before breaking in. A little bit too quick on the step there. Good opportunity to enter the zone. But nothing doing as they jump the gun a little bit. No shots on that so far in this battle. Yeah, there's been a lot of back and play, back and forth play with no anything making it to the nets. That's Blog now passes across to his Sioux Eagles defense partner and he throws it in. The Eagles get it in deep, cycle it around. Puck goes back to the point for a shot. Blocked in front. It was fired out. It's going down, but it's up for icing. And it will not be beaten out, so we have a face-off in the Rapids' end. Both teams vying for their first real opportunity here. Nothing doing so far. Now they're saying zero shots up on the board, but there was at least one that made it through to the Eagles goaltender with a pad save, I remember, from earlier. True, nothing substantial as of yet. Offensive zone draw here for the Eagles. Eagles looked deadly yesterday in their opening game of the tournament. They face off to the blocker side of Carlone. The Rapids win it. They try to break out, but they lose control. Eagles have it around the net. Controlling the puck, throws it back to the point. Back up to Poleski, who takes a shot. Rebound, but that's controlled by the goaltender. And a few whacks are taken at him by the Sioux Eagles, but he's able to keep it out of the net. Now that's a scoring chance, getting a juicy rebound up in the air just like that. 
But so far, French Rapids, French Rivers goalie, Carlone, able to control that one quite well. And we have another face off, off to his blocker side. Belanger in for the Eagles. And that's a draw, but it ends up in the Eagles' side. Belanger tries to throw it out front, but can't meet any of his teammates. And there's a an Eagle down in the crease as the Rapids break out. Haslam crosses the blue line into the Eagles' end, loses the puck. Eagles regain control. Belanger throws it up to his to winger, who tries to throw it across, but it's not received well, and the Rapids are able to get their stick on the puck. But Majeski has it, breaks in, takes a shot right into the glove of Carlone. Still completely back and forth here. It's hard to define any true advantage at this point. If you had to give the slight edge, it would probably be to the Eagles, considering their speed, cleaner zone entries, but French River, nothing to slouch at. No, nope, French River's always a pesky team to play against. And we have some swarming around the face-off dot, and the puck finally moves. The French and the Eagles tried to tuck one in the corner there, but didn't get it. Hope takes a shot from the point off the backboard. Picked up by Oland on the far side. Tries to look back to his defenseman, but that pass is intercepted. The Rapids grab it, but their breakout is intercepted. There's some hitting along the boards, and they're trying to get the puck free. Comes out, shoots into the corner. The Rapids pick it up to try and break out again. It gets up to the point, but he's able to hold it in. And now Fortson has it, passes it across, and a shot saved by Carlone right into his body and just absorbed. Good opportunity there for the Sioux Eagles. Able to create some space right in front of the net there. But good read by Carlone to get in front of that, read the passing play correctly, and get his whole body behind that shot. Or in front of that shot. And there's a quick draw win by the Eagles with a shot on net, but that was saved and knocked into the corner. The Rapids are controlling the puck now and trying to break out of their zone. And there's one place through. The pass was in step before Lefebvre could be off on a break with it. Now the Eagles have it in their own end. And they're looking to break out here. A little bit of struggling, but they still have control of the puck. They cross the red line now. Try to chip it in, but that's blocked. The French River Rapids have it. Jesse Lefebvre crosses the blue line. Controls the puck. Dumps it around to the far side. Picked up by his teammate. Intercepted by the Eagles, though. And the Eagles are on their way out, but Lefebvre comes in, grabs the puck again. And passes back to the defenseman, but he bobbles the puck. So the two Eagles have it in the rapid zone. And there's some checking along the boards here. And a shot by Froon. Backhand towards the goalie that he knocks aside. Now it's back in behind the Rapids net as the Eagles go for a line change. And the Rapids get a chance to actually fully break out of their zone. Lefebvre crosses the red line and shoots it towards the net. Bounces off the backboards and the goalie covers it up. Good couple opportunities there so far for the Eagles. Going up four to one on the shot clock so far. French River with a couple of breakout chances and they will have the offensive zone draw here to hopefully get something done. Yeah, lot, yesterday we saw Ma Marino Ramirez play. Today we're seeing Anthony Zalizi for the Eagles in net, and he's been up to the task so far. The Eagles are looking to make a breakout from their zone after winning that draw. Hendry on the forecheck collects the puck, tries to throw it out in front, but isn't able to get to the stick of his teammate. And Carlone is able to pick up the puck. Good rebound control so far from Carlone for the shots he has faced. The early one that popped up, getting those ones low on the pads, but he's pouncing on them quick and shutting down any secondary chances for the Eagles. The puck is dropped. Both teams struggling for control. Looks like the Eagles are walk away with it. Pass out in front to a player, but it bounces off his stick, and the Rapids grab it and start their breakout. He spins back to try and control, have a little better look, but the flip out of the zone right to the Eagles, and they're back in with control again. 
As the Rapids grab it and start heading down the ice. Clayton gets it in. And that is called offside. Clayton with a chance there to pass it to Schulz, but can't quite get there. Slightly ahead of the play. Schultz with an opportunity to go for one-on-one -on -one effort on the net, but unfortunately, a little bit too quick on the puck. The face-off just outside the Eagles' zone. They win it back, pass across from the defense to defense, and they get it down, but the puck is loose, and the Rapids and the Eagles are fighting for it. The Eagles come out in front of the net with it, but the puck bounces free, and the goalie just jumps on it without having to make a proper save. 13.59 remaining in this one, still scoreless. 5-1 to one remain the shots in favor of the Eagles in their home blacks. French River in their away whites. And the draw in the offensive zone for the Eagles. And they seem to be having some issues with the moorings in French River's end. It's the second time they've been off this game. and Throughout this tournament, we haven't really seen that be too much of an issue, though, thank goodness. And the puck's back in play. The Eagles with the control. Throw it back to a point man. Belanger takes a shot and is tipped in front. Big rebound chance. The rebound was saved. You couldn't get another control of it. And now the French River has it down. We take a shot. Stringer passes it through but can't connect. And the Eagles have control again in their own zone. And they're breaking out the other way. Patrick's off Majeski's stick goes down and deep, but he's able to get first to, to it first, but he's fighting for it with a Rapids player. And the Sioux Eagles come out of that with the puck. Pass across. Great chance. Goalie made the save the rebound that the Rapids were able to grab up and clear from the zone. Stringer touched that received that pass with his hand. And whistle down, but there was a hooking penalty on the play as well. Flurry of chances there so far for the Eagles. Great job by Carlone to get in front of it. Control all those angles. Defenders hopping on those pucks and creating counterattacks of their own. And now with the Eagles in the box, French River having the advantage, starting with the offensive zone draw. They will be able to hopefully capitalize where they haven't had chance to so far. And the Eagles win the draw, but the Rapids are able to control it. Trying to keep it in, but the Eagles grab it and are able to dump it down the ice. And the Rapids pick it up behind their own net and take some time to set up the proper breakout to get their play going the way they want. Pass to Clayton. He crosses the red line, crosses the blue line. Holds up at the far side boards. Tries to move the puck around a little bit. Gets back to him, throws it back to the point. The shot from the point, off the goaltender into the netting. French River having a little bit of trouble setting up at the start of that power play there. Get into the zone though, try and get set up. Can't get the puck moved around quickly enough and the Eagles collapse, goes off a stick. Luckily for them, they will have the offensive zone draw. And the Rapids win that draw, but it's out. And an Eagles player is away with it. See if he can make a chance out here. Takes a shot, saved by the goalie. And the Rapids control the puck and start their play. They cycle back in behind their own net. Try and get the look that they want up the ice. Passes off to Trio, who chips it up to Clayton. Clayton goes in deep, he's in the corner, goes behind the net. Throws it back around. Defenseman picks it up. Back to Clayton. Back to behind the net to true out. And that cycles around through the play again to Schultz. Who takes a shot off the goalie. Save big rebound, comes back out. But he can't control it to get another shot off and the goalie's able to just cover it up again. Lucas Caulfield, number 17 for the Eagles with a really good opportunity there. Almost gets the full breakaway. The French River defender getting in front of it. And even there, on the French River attack, Caulfield manages to fight with the stick and negate a second shot on his net. Really good shift from Caulfield there. And the draws one back to the line by the Rapids. Stringer has it. 
Tries to control it, but it's taken off his stick. And that's knocked up to the Sioux Eagles, who have control in their in the rapid zone, but they send it back to their own defenseman to waste some more time before they can dump it all the way back down the ice. And the Rapids pick it up behind their own net and set up. First pass to Haslam, he breaks out of the zone, sends it across, goes in, and that's being called offside. French River just not able to coordinate on an effective push here. Doesn't help that the Eagles have had a penalty kill exactly like you draw it up. Negating passing lanes, getting a few chances here and there, and just not really having the pressure on your side, but on the power play. And French River wins it, but it splits the defense and goes back into their own end. In the final seconds of the penalty, we are back to even strength now. French River tries to make a pass, but it misses all of their players. It's picked up by the Eagles. And they're back and forth between their defensemen before they send it up the ice. It's down, up for icing, but they beat it out. And then clearing attempts blocked. And Pueski gets a shot off. But the Eagles collect the rebound and break out of their own zone. Melsness breaks into the end. He has Stringer and Lefebvre with him. Throws it around. Lefebvre has it. He's bumped in the corner. He's trying to clear it with the puck, but they're fighting for its pin. Puck breaks free. Comes out. Stringer takes a slap shot from the point, but it misses the net. And the Sioux Eagles are able to chip it out of their zone. And Melsness grabs him, throws it back in. Lefebvre goes on the forecheck while the rest of the line goes for a change. The Eagles are able to fairly easily get out of their own zone. Back into the Rapids end. Poleski loses it, but Majeski picks it up. And he tries to pass, but it gets intercepted. And now the Rapids are going back the other way. Lefebvre dumps it in. He goes off for a change. But the Rapids are able to get control before they lose it to the Eagles, who get it out. Rapids grab it and throw it back in deep. And the Rapids gain control again. Let's go back to the point. The Eagles grab it. And they're able to make a quick breakout, but their passes aren't to target. So the Rapids are able to grab it again. And the Eagles th try to throw it again. Schweitzer has it at their blue line. Crosses the red line. Belanger takes it into the Rapids zone. And he shot right on net. And Carlone gloves it. And we're at our mid-period break. During our mid-period breaks, we'd like to mention that the NOJHL and Canadian Mental Health Association are proud to partner on Talk Today, a mental health program that provides education and support to athletes and raises mental health awareness in the community. To learn more, please visit CMHA Sudbury slash Manitoulin at 111 Elm Street or go to talktoday.ca. That is talktoday.ca. And we've been talking about this throughout each of our games here, Ben, about the importance of mental health and especially mental health access and resources within these northern communities that take place within the NOJHL and how having those, having the knowledge that there is help out there, having the knowledge that there is those resources that you can rely on, that you are not alone, that they are kicking down this stigma is so important to get the message out there and it's commendable of the NOJHL and the CMHA to team up on this initiative here. Yeah, it's great support that we're seeing. And it's good to see the NOJHL taking a lead and promoting the cause. And as we head back into play here, what are you making of the game so far quickly? Advantage Eagles for sure. Carlone is keeping the French River Rapids in this. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles bust through with a solid scoring opportunity within this period here. And the Eagles win that draw and they control the puck. And that's flipped in and Carlone just grabs that one out of the air and says we're having another whistle now. The Sioux definitely seem to have more of an advantage when it comes to their breakouts, when it comes to setting up quickly and getting high quality shots on net. Sioux wins the draw again. Fox takes a shot from point but doesn't make through. A shot from in front with a rebound. But the Rapids are able to get control and break out of their zone. Rapids take it wide. Takes a sharp angle shot. Almost beat the goalie or left a nice juicy rebound, but he was able to grab it, throw down his glove, and pick it up. 
That's another thing to point out. Shots currently 13-5 to in favor of the Eagles. And as a goaltender, or looking at a pure numbers standpoint, you might think that facing less shots equals a really good thing, but if you're staying cold throughout the game, can't really get in the flow of blocking shots, that can become problematic. Yeah, it's hard to keep in the zone if you're constantly not in the zone. But Fortson grabs a puck for the Eagles. They cross the blue line. Call for a front. Fortson gets it back. Misses the pass. Hopke tries to grab it. Some pulling down guys in the corner, and they're fighting for the puck. The Rapids have control of it now, but back in control of the Eagles again. He bumps around. Puck gets shot back in. Fortson grabs it behind the net. Skates around with it out towards the point. Throws it back into the corner. They take a weird angle shot and it bounces a rebound across to the far boards. Fortson grabs it, gets hit off of it. And the Sioux Eagles are able to keep it in, but not keep control of it. And the Rapids have it, but the Eagles grab it back in the neutral zone. Fired across, Fortson's unable to hold the pass. So there's a scramble for the puck in the corner, but the Rapids come away with it. And they're skating out of their zone now, getting into the far end. Goes to make a play, but the Eagles defenseman is able to stop him. Clear it back out. Bizdell grabs it at their own blue line. And Haslam has it. Throws it across to his D partner inside the own rapid zone. And they pass it up, and it's chipped into the Eagles zone. Froon grabs it, goes behind his net. Turns around, comes back out. Throws the pass up. The pass across goes off Dolan's stick and skips into the French River end where they control it and try and make a play. Shoot it up off the glass and into the protective netting. And we have a whistle. Tyler Fortson missing a golden opportunity there in the low slot. All the defenders completely away from the puck. Surrounding the goalie. Highly screened there. Has a chance to tee one up and over skates it. An unfortunate circumstance for Tyler Forsen not to capitalize on that. And Hendry wins that back to Blagna, who takes a shot off the blocker of Carlone. And the Rapids grab it in their own zone, but they lose it. Eagles throw it around back, it gets to the point. He throws it into the side. He's trying to control it, but he's running out of places. Hendry passes it across, but the Rapids grab it and they break out. Bistel tries to make a pass, but he gets stopped, so Fox of the Eagles picks it up. Loses control, but when it gets passed out, Hendry grabs it for the Eagles, breaks it into the rapid zone, makes a move around the defenseman, makes a play. Carlone sticks his leg out and stops it. Great chance. The Rapids are able to clear that puck out. Blagna grabs it again, throws it across to his partner. Just across center, tries to throw it in. Comes across to an Eagles player who takes a shot off the side of the net. The Eagles grab it again. Shot gets blocked, jumps out in front. And the Eagles able to hold the zone. It bounces out. They clear it back in where the Rapids grab it, and they're able to get into the Eagles zone now. And it looks like it's covered up on an easy, on an easy save for the goaltender. Can't be overstated enough. Carlone's looking fantastic, facing 15 shots so far, all different angles. All different opportunities, but he is all over the place and all over the puck, keeping this one at a tie game with shots 15 to six. And the Eagles win it inside their own zone. Schweitzer has it on the far boards trying to break out. He gets hit, but it's picked up by Belanger, who's not able to get it into the zone before being teammate being deemed offside. But it's back, the Eagles have it again. They dump it in deep. Schweitzer's first one in to grab it. Trying to control, throws it out to Majeski, but he just misses the pass. Pratt grabs it, throws it back in at the net. Coloni makes a save, throws it in the corner. The Eagles grab the puck, though, and they have it in the corner. But the Rapids are able to take it away from them and break out of their zone. Jesse Lefebvre has it, drops it, goes to his line mate, back to Lefebvre, who comes in, takes a shot, and that's a pad save that's tipped up and into the protective netting. Commendable is the Sioux Eagles defense. They play a very physical style. They line you up, make sure that you're unable to get to the puck, shove you off, make sure that their defensive partners are able to gather the puck that you knock off, clear the zone quickly, and make sure that you're not able to set up as effectively as you'd like on your breakout. 
Yeah, both teams have done a great job of not allowing the other team to set up and get solid control. The Eagles have it in their own end and fire it around. And the Rapids prevent them from breaking up. The Eagles get it back and end up getting it out. But the Eagles are, or Rapids are back in with the puck. A hard hit against Sagan. And the Eagles pick up the puck behind their own net. Pratt gets it and fires it around. There's a scramble for the puck. Rapids walk away with it. Trelout has it, circles in, skates around, gets to the dot, takes a shot. Doesn't make it through to the goalie. The Eagles get the puck and they're on their way back out again. Fortson breaks into the Rapids zone, tries to make a play, but it's up and off the glass. And it looks like we're being called for a hand pass here. And we'll have a face off outside the zone, it looks like. Fairly clean game so far. Only the one penalty, I believe, so far. Yep, the one minor for hooking. And that came to no avail for either team. And it's probably the least amount of penalties we've seen in the first period so far in this tournament, at least on this pad. That's for sure. And there's no clear winner of the draw, but the Eagles come away with the puck. Zabo's in well on a four check. Another 17 for the Eagles. Tries to take a backhand shot, but misses the net and goes and picks up his own puck in the corner. Fires it on net, but that's an easy save from that angle. Fruin comes around, throws it back in deep to Zabo. Zabo throws back to the other corner, and Froon's there to pick it up and throw it back into Zabo being behind the net. And he's pinned against the net, but so Froon joins him to grab the puck. And he throws it back to the point. It's trouble holding it, but it's chipped back in. Back to Froon, who has it. He's trying to make a play out of the corner, but he's being checked well. Throws to the front of the net where it's tipped on. Quick save and goal! That is thrown up into the top corner above the goalie's glove. By number 17. Lucas oh, Caulfield. Yep, beautiful goal for him. In the dirty zone, gets the shot off, puts it right where you want to put it. 17th shot of the game, scored by number 17 himself. Beautiful rebound. You fire it low, you get, keep packing at it. You're able to finally take one away from Carlone, who's had a tough period with all the shots he's faced. And finally, with enough shots on net, you're able to go up one nothing in the last few minutes here of the first. And we're calling a hand pass against the Eagles there. And we are back into another quick whistle. Carloni's been fantastic so far, but he just was not quite able to do that, get that rebound control under is really what it was, is he had a couple rebounds on that play and just got away from him. Lucas Caulfield assisted by Alex Freund there on that goal. Lucas Caulfield, two goals on the season. And off that draw, the Rapids have it. They fire it in on net. And the goalie just covers it up to prevent a rebound. So there was a Rapid coming in quick on him. Bizdal was was hot on his heels trying to get into that. Rapids not looking deterred by the goal, still playing the game that they have been, which hasn't looked bad by any means. It just hasn't been as effective as maybe they'd hope. The shot from the point from the Rapids is blocked. It's cleared out by the Eagles. Hendry picks it up and throws it in. McGill picks it up for the Rapids and fires it around. And that's kept in by Pratt. And Poweski shoots it deep. It's played around by the Rapids. They throw it up. And it's being chased. Could be an icing here if they don't get to it. But Pratt gets to it before it gets to the line, so it's no icing there. And the Rapids end up back with the puck. Try to circle around behind the net, spins back, throws it up high. Throws it back down deep. Behind the net, they're struggling with each other. 
But the Rapids come away with it. Trying to make a play back to Carr, who takes a shot from the point and it's tipped in front by Bisdo, but doesn't make it on net. He's going back out front. And the shot still doesn't make it to the goalie. Carr takes a shot and it's wide. Bounces around. Stringer over there takes a shot. And the Eagles are able to pick it up. Pratt's trying to get it out of his own. They're not able to clear the end yet. And the Rapids have control again. And the ref's going to be calling a call on that one. The Rapids have the control of the puck. They take a shot. It goes wide. Carr picks it up at the point. And they have the man advantage right now as the goalie has left the ice for the delayed penalty call. And Carr cycles back in his own end. Hendry leaving pressure on him. And the Rapids try and get up this ice. And the Eagles pick up the puck as they cross the zone. And we're going to see two minutes here of a man advantage for the French River Raps to see if they can try to get themselves back in this game. This will be our second uh, penalty of the game. This one being the first for the French River. Oh, wait, no, the second one for the Sioux Eagles. French River Rapids getting another opportunity to tie this one. Shot 17 to 9, minute 47. So a little bit of this, if not scored, will be played at the beginning of the second. And the Eagles try to clear it, but they can't. Carr takes a shot. It's saved. Bounces around, and the Eagles are able to clear it out that time. Carlone comes out, stops it, settles the puck down behind the net for Carr. Carr picks it up, and he waits for his teammates to get back and in position. They start to move off the ice. Passes to Clayton. Clayton skates in. Gets knocked off his feet as he climbs into the zone. The Eagles pick up the puck and are easily able to fire it all the way back down. Carlone tries to make a pass. And Schulist, who received the pass from Carlone, tried to make a quick pass down the ice and ended up being called for icing on it. A good effort there, but fortunately nothing goes French River's way. And the draw will end up in their zone on the back foot with the advantage, though. And French River comes out of that draw with control. Mason has the puck. Goes behind his own net. With Fruden watching him in front of the net. Waiting for him to come out and try and pick it off of him. But he gets by him and it's heading down the ice. Mason makes a fancy move. Crosses the blue line. Throws it over. And the shot is made towards the net but it misses. And the Eagles are able to grab the puck again. And get it out of their zone. But it's still in the neutral zone, but they have control of the puck. So they're able to now fire it all the way down. And Schulis grabs the puck behind French River's net and starts to make his way up the ice. He drops the pass for Mason, but Mason was already gone by, so he had to circle back to grab it. Schulis grabs the puck, tips it off to Bisdell. He throws it up to the teammate, to Nel Melnis, and he comes in offside as he made a last minute move at the blue line. We've seen, unfortunately, quite a few times this game, French River unable to communicate on their zone entry, cutting off any momentum they had, 8.4 seconds left. That's your last ditch attempt at making something worse on this power play. And you just can't be offering up mistakes like that when you're down a goal. And with that buzzer, we have 13 minutes left, or 13 seconds left in that power play when we come back from the end of this intermission. Shot 17 to nine, score is one nothing for the Sioux Eagles. We'll see you after this.
And we welcome you back to the Jerry McCrory Countryside Arena Ice Pad 2 for the second period of the third game of the day. The day which happens to be cameraman Mike Brown's birthday. Happy birthday, Mike Brown. We're about to have a face-off here for 13 remaining seconds on the Rapids power play. And there's a conversation with the bench. Oh. And just as the face-off goes, the buzzer sounds. It's not often you see a false start in hockey. No. No, that's not every day, but... Flag on the play. Here we go again. The Rapids end up with the puck and they fire it deep into the Eagles zone. Box for the Eagles tries to pick it up but can't control it. So the Rapids have it. The penalty is over. We are back to five on five. The Eagles pick up the puck inside their own zone and make a breakout. Poeski has it. Crosses in, tries to drop pass, but it's picked up by the Eagles. And they're sprung the other way. Bizdal can't quite get it past Bologna who picks it up and is wrapping around his own end trying to get out. Now Poeski has it into the Eagles zone, or into the rapid zone. Can't quite control it to get a shot off. Fires it around behind the net. And it tries to get pushed out in front, but the Rapids grab it and they're heading down the ice and this should be an icing call here. And that was a close, nearly negated call, but ended up the Eagles got there first. Really good bounce up the boards play there. Try and get French River going, trying to get ready early. Get back on the board here. Unfortunately, off the boards, just a little bit too far for the player to reach that. Nice effort, though, from the beginning. So the Eagles have control in the rapid zone. Get a shot through to the net. The Rapids are able to grab the puck back, and the Eagles struggle and get it back again. They hold it inside the blue line. And cycles around to the far side. Defenseman pitches in, tries to keep it in. Rapids get their stick on it, but the Eagles are to get control again. The Rapids cycle it around, try and make a breakout pass. That one connects. Up to Bizdal, who's off and away. Starzlowski has it. Shot into his hauled down into the goalie. Looks like no one's hurt, and everyone's getting up and good. Nice little acknowledgement from Bizdal to the goaltender. Hey, just playing the puck, no ill intention or anything like that. And it was Bizdal who had the previous chance with the bounce pass up the boards. Coming in with speed, able to maneuver fairly quickly. Bizdal's been looking good so far right off the hop in this period. Yeah, and Starzomski was beat, so he kind of hauled him down, and I was a little surprised we didn't see a penalty there, but... But the ref saw it from a different angle and didn't see that as something worth calling. Get a little bit better view from on the ice. And the Eagles break out, but their pass is a little sloppy, so they just fire it down into the zone. And the Rapids try and break out from behind their net, but the Eagles end up with the puck. Throw it back to the man at the point. Back into the half boards. Man at the point steps in with a slap shot. Doesn't make it through to the goalie. Finds his way to the far, to the close corner. And there's some hitting and some struggling for the puck and no one's able to get clear control. The Rapids have it now. And being checked closely by the Eagles. Lefebvre has it for the Rapids and he's able to chip it and get just out, but the Eagles pick it back up. Storzomski has it in his own zone for the Eagles. Makes a pass up to Rosema, but that doesn't connect and it's back to Storzomski in his own end who's being checked by Lefebvre. Delis has it. And they break into the rapid zone, takes it wide, goes around the net, looking for someone to pass it out to. Tries to hit Delis in front, but misses him. Skips by Fox, who picks it up in the neutral zone. He's holding on to it. Dumps it in deep, cross corner. The Rapids pick it up and try to go for a long pass, but it doesn't connect with anyone. So the Eagles have it, and they're going back the other way. Froome chips it in. And Zabo tries to connect, but can't collect it. Back across to Froome, back, 
Olin takes a slap shot from the point that's gloved down by Carlone. Great opportunity there for the Eagles. Get the space they want. Tease one up from the blue line. Not really passing around. I've had some long shift for some of your guys. Fire one in on net. Make sure you get the chance to breathe that you can. Start off in the zone. Start off this period strong. The Rapids come away from that draw with the puck. Skate around their own net to try and clear it out. They're not able to, oh, they are able to get it out of the zone, but without control of it. And the Eagles get it back and just throw it deep in. Carloni comes out to play it, throws it off the board. Sabo picks it up off of it though. Tries to pass out front, quick shot. And that is a goal off of a rebound. And that looks like that is Froon that scored that goal. Zabo had the first shot, was saved, popped back out to Froon, and Carloni was just unable to get to it. That's the second goal this game, and the second one that's gone in in similar fashion. Fire the puck on, chop at the rebound, do what you can to get that in the net because Carloni is not going to give you anything easy. And with that mindset, the Sioux Eagles go up 2 nothing. And the Rapids try and clear out, but the Eagles hold it in their zone again. And Froon has takes a shot, and Carloni gloves that one down and doesn't let it go. Sees that one through a big gap there in the traffic. Able to glove that one down easily. And despite two goals, facing 21 shots now, saving 19 in just over a period. Still continued to look fairly good. It's just that rebound control started to slip away a little bit after the first bit of the first period. And the Rapids win it again, but they aren't able to clear the zone. So the Eagles have it, they chipped it in, shot it around, but the Rapids picked it up there. And they are now to the zone, Christopoulos with the puck. Gets knocked off it though. And the Eagles are now trying to clear their zone, but they can't. The Rapids keep it in, fire shot in on net. The Eagles grab it, throw it up where the Rapids pick it up in the neutral zone, skate into their own zone where they try and make a play up. But Pratt picks it up in the neutral zone for the Eagles, tries to make a play in the neutral zone, but can't. So the Eagles, the Rapids grab it, fire it into the Eagles zone. Pratt grabs it again, but is knocked off of it. Back to the Gerard of the Rapids who fires in on net, and that's an easy glove save for Sue Goldhunter. That's probably the most ozone time that the French River Rapids had had in this one. Getting a shot or two around, trying to get set up, trying to claw something back. 11 shots on, nearly five minutes gone in this period, and you're down a goal already. And the, Rap or the Rapids won that draw and fire back in, but Majeski picks it up and he hands it off to a Rapids player who tries to score but can't tuck it in. to try to put it out front. They're unable to control that chance. Schweitzer's off though with the puck for the Eagles down on. Quick shot, big save. Carlone covers it out. And Melnis takes offense to a guy who is on him a little too closely. Carlone makes no mistake in jumping immediately on that rebound. Considering how the previous goals have gone, make sure that there's not a chance even if he gets hacked at even if he gets pushed around a little bit, that he's going to have that thing solid. Makes no mistake, that's a very good save from him, getting back mentally into this game. And Guard also received a two minute penalty on that. I believe it was a holding, might have been hooking. I didn't see what the route dresser the referee made, but the Sioux Eagles are now on a two, or on a one man, two minute advantage. But Jesse LeFay breaks away with the puck, gets down, takes a shot, misses the net, off the glass. He comes back around. Mason for the Rapids picks it up in his own zone. But it's taken off a stick by Schweitzer. And the Eagles are in on the power play. And Jesse LeFay fires it out but can't get out of the zone. Schweitzer pass across to Fox. Though crosses the line. So they're outside controlling the puck. Back over to Belanger who skates in across the blue line. Holds the puck there. Fires it up into the corner. We'll scramble for the puck, it squirts back to Fox. Fox has control of it. Tries to chip it over to Blanche. Back to Fox. 
Throws it over to Schweitzer, who's standing in the dot. Takes a shot, misses the net though. Schweitzer picks it up again in the corner. And the Eagles are holding on to it, but uh, Jesse Lefebvre's able to chop it off of a stick and down the ice, where he's able to head off for a line change. And the Eagles set up behind their own net, trying to get the power play going the way they want it to. There's a breakout, Poweski has it. Crosses into the rapid zone. Loses the puck, Olin picks it up in the corner though. And the Rapids are able to take it off of him. And there's a scramble, but the Eagles end up with the puck again. On a pass across, it doesn't connect to a stick. But the Eagles are able to hold it in and hold the puck. Clayton though grabs it off of Poweski and dumps it down the ice. Zolizi stops it behind the net. So there's a scramble for the puck between a Rapid and three Eagles players, but the Rapid player has it. In his attempt to pass it out, it goes to Olin, who slowly takes it down the ice, crosses the blue line, waits for the rest of his teammates to catch up. There's some cycling around here. Eagles have it up. Poeski has it in the corner, trying to make a play. Tries to pull out to make a sharp angle shot, but can't make it through. And the Rapids trying to get out are pinned in the corner. And the power play is over, so we're back to even strength now. The Rapids are trying to clear it out of their zone still. They cir keep circling back. They aren't losing the puck, but now they do. And the Eagles have control in the corner. Pass back to Fortson at the point who takes a shot. It's tipped on net, but that was a save. Big rebound out. Eagles have control again. Fortson... Take a shot, backdoor pass, but isn't able to be tipped onto the net. And the Rapids are finally able to get it out off the linesman. And they're able to get into the zone, but aren't able to get a clear break towards the net. They're playing around with the puck in the corner. Tried to chip it across to their own player, but it ends up on a stick of the Eagles. And they're able to get it out. And the Eagles now have numbers inside the offensive zone. If they lose control of the puck on their own, pass into the corner. Sharp angle backhand shot, misses the net. Ends up being flipped down towards Christopoulos, but it doesn't reach him. The shot back in on Carlone. It's stopped. The Eagles are setting up behind the net, trying to get control of the puck, trying to get in start. Storzomski takes a shot from the point, pad save. And Christopoulos is over there fighting for the puck, trying to get it out, but can't make it go. And now the Eagles have the puck again in the corner, trying to make a pass out, is blocked. And the Rapids are able to pick up the puck, trying to chip it out. Starzomski lets it by him. And there's no icing here. Hoppe has it with Christopoulos down on him hard. And the French River picks it up, they backtrack to their own zone and dump it down the ice. And there's a quick play from Starzomski to forward up. But he was able to get in but not control the puck. But back control, Fox takes a shot from the point, it's tipped wide of the net. Shoveled back in behind the net where there's multiple players from each side struggling for the puck. No one able to take clear control of it. Looks like the Rapids have control now. They're able to start to try their breakout. And they're able to get just across the line where it goes back to the Eagles. Fox has it, passes it across to his defense partner. Pass up for Rosema. He tries to pass up for Delis. Off the stick, Fortson has it. Now one has it, and he's circling around waiting for a delayed penalty here. The Eagles are trying to keep control of the puck. There's a hand pass there to blow down the play. A lot happened there in the past few minutes. Really extended play without a whistle. Uh, French River doing a really good job on that penalty kill. That's probably the best play we've seen from them so far in this one. They made the Eagles uncomfortable. Had a few chances on their own to start. One more towards the end of that penalty kill there. Kept the Eagles to the outside. Didn't really let them play the style of game that uh, the Sioux Eagles really like to play getting in that solid umbrella setup, negating the use of guys like Fox, and 
just doing a really, really good job of making sure the Eagles didn't score on that chance. The Eagles win the draw, and they're setting up around on their power play. Making some good passes back and forth, controlling the puck, but not getting any dangerous position yet. Belanger has it down low, cycles it around, back to Fox at the point, passes over to Hendry. Hendry has control, back to Belanger. Belanger back to Hendry. Hendry at the half boards, throws it back to the corner to Belanger, who throws it out front. That's a big save off of Majeski, and the Rapids get it cleared out of their zone. But Fox has the puck, and he's able to make a little space for himself behind the net. Clayton backs off a little bit. And Mason is up on the forecheck now. Hendry skates the puck down over the red line. They have the puck in there. Majeski with the puck. Tries to reach Blanche, but gets to Fox. Fox throws it over to Schweitzer, but he's not able to get a shot off. Hendry has it, fires it around. Blanche picks it up on the far side. Tosses it back to Fox. Fox takes a shot right off a of pad. No dangerous rebound there, though, but the Eagles are able to control it again. Back to Blanche, back to Schweitzer across. That shot was off the blocker. Went high and wide after that. Then got directed out of the zone. Fox has it now, skating in to the Rapids end. Gets into the slot, takes a shot. I think that was off the helmet of Carleone. But the Rapids are able to get it out. And they shoot it up. But now the Eagles have it and they're breaking back down towards the Rapids zone. Poweski has it. Drops it for Olin. Olin playing around the net. Trying to find someone to throw it to. Makes a pass. Back to the point. Poweski has it. Back to Beligna who shots it. Shoots it and it's into the glove of Carleone. Much better time in zone for the Sioux Eagles. Spending basically the whole two minutes as that penalty has now expired. Getting a couple of really high quality shots on net. And there's a reason that Kobe Fox is such a cornerstone of the Sioux Eagles power play. He can hold the blue line so well, get back on the play when it does squeak out, able to execute on those gaps in the defense and get really high quality scoring chances when he sees them. Yeah, he certainly looked really good out there. Someone's, oh, mid-period break. That's okay. what we're at now. It looks like 8.22 left in the second period. And this is our first face-off without icing or a penalty. And with this mid-period break, we'd like to once again mention the Canadian Mental Health Association, Subray Manitoulin, is a community-based mental health and addictions care organization that provides a wide range of supports and services to greater Subray and region. To learn more, please visit CMHA Subbury slash Manitoulin at 111 Elm Street, Subbury, or go to sm.cmha.ca. That is sm.cmha.ca. Yeah, and it wasn't that long ago that if you were to tell someone that you suffered from any kind of mental illness, they would look at you like you had three heads, and most people didn't know what it really meant. And we've come a long way since then. And we've erased, you know, a lot of the stigma has been dealt with, but there's still more to go. And, you know, there's a lot of great hockey organizations. We highlighted one yesterday. Uh, another great one is Michael Lansdow from TSN's organization, Sick Not Weak. Absolutely. And that's, he does a lot of great, he's been doing a lot of great work for a long time on the mental health front. And Froond wins the draw but the Rapids are able to pick it up and throw it down the ice. The Eagles grab it in their own zone though. Bligna has it. He tries to get out of his zone. Doesn't cleanly get out though. Puck bounces around a bit. Ends up back on a rapid stick. They're into the zone. They take a pass across but it can't connect and able to get a shot off. It's back around Fox. Grabs it. Tries to chip it around further. But Haslam tries to keep it in. And that is kept in by the Rapids, fired on net. And now the Eagles are making a play out of their zone. Back up to Caulfield with it. Over to Froond, who bobbles the puck, but gets it back to Fox successfully. Fox passes it up to Zabo. And Zabo gets in wide. He has 
Takes a shot, and it's a save made. Big rebound. It's collected by the Rapids, and they try to clear it out, but it doesn't get out. Rapids fire it in, but the... Or the Eagles fired in, the Rapids are able to grab it and pull it out. Schulis tries to get out, but loses it in the neutral zone. And it bounces back out into the Rapids end, and they're trying to fire it out, but Eagles control the puck currently. Eagles pass it back to the point. Fortson takes a shot. Starzomski collects it, passes it across to his partner, throws it up to Fortson, who can't quite control it. But the Eagles still have the puck. And Fortson does get in with it. With Rosema with him. Pass it across to him. Big save by Carlone. Amazing stretch across just to get there and hold the rebound. Carlone now stopping 30 shots so far in this game. And that may be one of the biggest ones yet. Keeping this at an 0-2 game. Stretching all the way across crease. Sprawling out covering the puck he's given up a few rebounds but he does not miss on that one no that was a beautiful play and the Rapids are able to get it out of their zone after the face off Bissell has it in his own end and they're cleared up try and make a long stretch pass but it doesn't connect and it goes all the way down for icing so far this period in the first all the penalties, both penalties were on the Eagles. In this, both penalties have been French River. And overall, no one's been able to take advantage as both penalty kills have looked fairly solid. The best looking one so far had been the power play by the two Eagles in the previous. The Rapids won the draw in their own zone, but then lost the puck. So the Eagles control it, try and fire it in front, but doesn't get there. Olin stops the puck, fires it back around. And there's some back and forth with the puck before it finally leaves the zone and ends up all the way down for an icing in the Sioux Eagles end. And we end it back towards the Rapids net. This has been a much more one-sided affair as the second period has gone on. I would be willing to bet that there's only one to two minutes of total zone time for the French River Rapids in the Sioux Eagles zone. This has felt like a power play setup basically since this period started. Yeah, and in no small part because of Carlone, this game's only two goal game. But the Rapids are able to get out of their zone. Bisdale takes it wide, takes a shot on the net, which is an easy pad save. Bounces back out in front where the Eagles are able to grab it and try and break out. They get down into the Blanche, it gets into the Rapids zone. With the puck, fires it around, but the Rapids are able to pick it up and clear it out of their zone. Pratt, the defenseman, grabs it, throws it back in. Belanger making a play with the puck, tries to make a pass out front, doesn't get to one, but Hoppy has it. And there's a save. Can't tell whether it was off the arm or off the head, but it went up high and into the safety meshing. So Eagles just continuing to pour on the pressure here. 32 shots to 14. Score is 2 0 for those of you just joining us here in the later half of the second period. And once again, we will have a draw in the French River zone. Eagles just dominating every aspect of the offensive game and translating that into their defensive game as well. The Rapids win that draw. And they have the puck, but it's not solid possession. But they're able to break out. Now Mason has the puck, and he breaks into the Eagles zone. But that's intercepted by Belagna. Caulfield tries to chip it out, and it gets just off the hand of McGill and through. Dolan has it, and he has a man with him. Takes a shot and scores! Short side, right under the goalie's glove. What a great shot from number 21. That's Dolan. Dolan, he sees the play, strips the attacker of the puck, pushes up with speed. The entire time he's going in, he has that partner, he has that threat that Carlone has to pay attention to. Fakes like he's going to pass the entire time and fires this one in short side for the 3-0. That was just a beautiful shot from in close that the goalie didn't have a lot of chance on. The Eagles win the draw and have control of the puck again. 
Trying to get it up to Caulfield, but it doesn't reach him. But after bouncing around a bit, he has it again, off his stick again. And it looks like the Rapids have it now. And Sagan breaks in, takes a shot. Right into the bar body of Zulezi. And he holds on to it for a faceoff. Zulezi maintaining being solid as the Sioux Eagles goaltender. I feel like we haven't said his name a lot because he hasn't, well, seen a lot. 15 shots over almost two full periods of play here. But everyone he's faced, he's managed to freeze fairly effectively. And the Eagles have win the draw. They fire it around. Fortson breaks out of his end with it. Crosses the red line and across the blue line. Goes into the corner, cycles around the net. Throws it back to Starzomski, who fires it into the corner. Picked up, back to the point, and fired on net, but it's blocked. Shot made it through, but Carleone was up to the task. Another shot from a sharp angle, hits the body, and Carleone is able to pounce on it and end the play. A few rapid fire shots there, up close. Some tiny rebounds there. Luckily, a lot of them bouncing behind the net for Carlone's sake, and then that last one he's able to jump on top of effectively. Rebound control started off really well for him at the beginning of the game, was certainly commendable, and then a few goals have gone in off the bigger rebounds as the pressure has mounted against him. And Sioux Eagles win that draw. And cycle the puck around. It looks like a rapid player might get to it first. Schulis was able to grab it, but his pass for the breakout did not connect, so Rosamo was able to get it, throw it back in deep. Grab some Tough play along the boards, along with a big hit against a rapid player. And no one has particular control of it, but it looks like the Eagles are coming away with it. And from the point, Olin takes a shot. Back to Olin, takes a shot again, and it makes its way to the corner instead of to the net. And the Rapids are trying to break out of their zone. The sloppy pass, but they're able to control it enough to get it out. And Greg and Chev. Crosses the blue line. And that was up into the netting by the Sioux Eagles defenseman. 318 remaining in this period. 35 shots in favor of the Sioux Eagles. Zalezi only facing 15 from the French Riverside. Offensive zone draw. Maybe you'll see a couple more here. And Bissell wins it back to Rabido for the Rapids. Back into the corner. But Olin picks it up. He's fighting for it behind the net. Looks like the Rapids come away with it. Bissell has it, throws it back in behind the net. On the far side, Eagles come away with it. they will pass up to Pueski. He has Rosema with him. He makes a pass across, and Rosema scores! He was all tied up, but his stick was able to be free just enough to direct that one into the net. That's one you definitely wish you could take back. You've already been pushed and pushed and pushed this entire period. Then on the rush, when the guy's barely even able to move his stick, they still get one past you. That's got to be frustrating, but an excellent effort from Rosema. Yeah, that was, that was a beautiful play. A beautiful pass across, and even though I didn't think he was going to get a stick on it, he was able to do it. And the Eagles win another draw. Pratt controls the puck, passes it across, but the pass was just off. They're able to, they're able to struggle and get out. Pouliot has the puck. Makes a pass, and finds its way through eventually to another Eagles player. Poweski has it now behind the net. And he spins away with it, tries to get out to the corner. Throws it out in front to Pouliot. Big save. And Melsness had it. Throws it into the corner. Back up. He's knocked up. Jesse the Fave just missed it. And now Clayton has it inside. Makes a pass across. And Melsness just can't connect on that pass to make it be a, a real chance. Now Pueski has it. Throws it up to Pouliot. Back to Pueski where it just misses his stick. Pueski picks it up off the board, so he throws it around in the corner. Where the Rapids keep it and are able to dump it up. Clayton's breaking for it, trying to get him past. But the Eagles are able to grab it, clear it out of their zone. 
Up to Hendry for the Eagles, who tries to get into the rapid zone, gets in, chips it towards the net, but it doesn't make it. And the Rapids are breaking out again, dumping it down the ice. Now the Fox passes it up. Just about a breakaway pass for Belanger, but it missed his stick a little bit. Back in front for the Eagles. Pass back to Fox at the point. Takes a clear shot where Carleone can see and gets his glove on it and doesn't let go. Assist on that goal by Gavin Rosema is Jack Paveski and Michael Starzomski. And of note in this game so far, Alex Freund with two points and Lucas Caulfield with three, a goal and two assists. Them Caulfields put up points. <laughs> the Fox plays it off the point. Back to Fox at the point where he shoots it in and into the glove of Carleone again. Carleone doing what he can in the dying minute of this second period here. 37 shots now up on the board and another offensive zone draw for the Sioux Eagles. And the Rapids win that draw, but they don't get clear possession off of it. Fight for it in the corner. Back to the point. Fox maintains it. Throws it across to Bologna. And he's smoked into the boards. And the puck's up for grabs still. But the Eagles have it now. Making their way towards the net. But can't get quite there. Belanger has it. Tries to make a play. But doesn't get through. And now the Rapids have a breakaway chance. And he scores! Beautiful pass on what was going to be a penalty call. Rapids pick up the puck and get in. Front hand, back hand, top shelf. That's exactly how you draw that up. The Eagles get distracted defending the center, but Tyler Trelout is able to just squeeze past, do the simple move and beat the goalie cleanly. What a beautiful shot there to get the Rapids back on the board with 39 seconds remaining in the period on the 16th shot. What yeah. a goal. That was a beautiful play and a beautiful finish. The Eagles win that, fire it down into the Rapids zone. The Rapids look like they're gonna be able to get it out of their end. Eagles fire it back in though. And there's some yelling from the benches about play having to have been called there and the play is called down. 22.8 seconds remaining. And the draw will be just in front of the Sioux Eagles bench. And the Eagles win the draw back across to Olin. He fires it cross ice into the opposing corner. The Rapids pick up control. We get it across. And Stringer is on a little bit of a break. Takes a shot right into the body of the goaltender Zulezi, and he holds on to it. There's a little bit of testiness after the play, but didn't amount to very much. And the players are all going to their respective positions. Seven seconds left. This will likely be the last play of the period. French River hoping for a quick draw win. Cut this lead even closer if they can get it cleanly. The Eagles win the draw and they fire it around. It gets out all the way down and the buzzer will go before it crosses the line for icing. And that will be it for this period. Four to one in favor of the Sioux Eagles. Shots 37 to 16. And that period was just all the Eagles all the time until the very, very end. And an excellent breakaway effort there at the very end. So Tyler Treel out with the only goal for the French River Rapids at this point. But it may be just what they need to get back into this at the end. Yeah, we have, we're heading into our third period of our third game here and the French River Rapids are going to want to come out strong if they want a chance to get even. Absolutely and we will see you right after the break right here on the front line 
and flow hockey.
And we welcome you back for the third period between the French River Rapids and the Sioux Eagles at the Jerry McCrory Rink Countryside Rink Arena Pad 2. There we go. And the faceoff is dropped, and the French River Rapids have control of the puck. Clear, they clear it out. They take control. Clayton dumps it towards the Sioux's end, but can't get it deep in. Sue grabs the puck. Back towards French River ends. That's Pouliot throws it into the zone. French River's trying to clear it out, but a pinching defenseman holds it in. And there's some good play there by the Sioux Eagles, and they have a delayed penalty on hand. Poweski has the puck cycling around, throws it over to Fox. Fox throws it back to Pouliot. And Pouliot throws it back to Ballard. Yeah. And that is deemed to have been touched or controlled by the Rapids. And we have the penalty being called here. Seems to be a common theme throughout the games here on pad two throughout the tournament. That at the beginning of the third period, the team that is down draws a penalty and puts the team that is up by at least a number of three onto another advantage. Seems to have no signs of slowing down here in game three of day two. Yeah. So we're in for a face off to the blocker side and the Rapids have made a goaltending change. We have Elijah Grant in for them. Back to Schweitzer. Schweitzer across. Belanger has it. Hendry over to Schweitzer, one time shot and Grant saves it and grabs it with his glove. We have a face off. Minute 42, still remaining in the power play. Quick shot, basically off the draw here for the Sioux Eagles. Grant takes that one handily. And the Eagles win that draw. But fight for the puck along the boards. Rapids are able to get it out into the Eagles end. Fox back to retrieve it. And Jesse Lefebvre is up on the four check. The Eagles get past him. Hendry has it, dumps it into the rapid zone. Belanger leaves that at the far side for Fox. Fox takes a shot and it gets deflected into the corner. Schweitzer had it, off to Hendry. Hendry passes it back and forth with Majeski. It goes past Majeski to Belanger. Belanger skating around, leaves it for Hendry, back for Fox. Hendry has it again, back to Belanger, back to Hendry, back to Fox, who takes a shot right into the body of Grant, and he holds it for another faceoff. Grant looked like for a second he may not have gotten all of that, but holds on tightly, and a rocket shot from Fox from far back, nearly putting the Sioux Eagles onto their 40th point here, with uh, 40th shot here, not point. <laughs> for the shot near the point with 49 seconds remaining on this power play. There we go, we got it sorted. And the puck drops, the Eagles had control. Bologna has it at the point, passes it across, but that pass doesn't get to anyone. The Rapids are able to fire it out and down. Zlozzi. Zolzili has it behind the net, passes it off to a forward. And now the Eagles are on the way back down the ice. That was deemed not offside. Fortson has it, passes it across. Back over to Blagna. Who has it? Takes a shot from a sharp angle. And Grant is able to squeeze his blocker arm to his body and hold on to it. Blagna does a couple of moves there before finally executing on the shot. But Grant follows steadily the entire way, taking off every available angle to him and does a really good job of stopping that and stopping everything so far that he's faced in the third here. And the Rapids win that draw, and they fired out to the point, but Blagna keeps it in. He skates across the blue line, feeds it off to Poweski. Poweski back to Blagna. Over to Fortson, who takes a shot, and that was saved. The rebound comes out, but Blagna holds the line. It doesn't get past him. The Rapids are trying to dump it out now. Blagna keeps it in again. Now he's down in the corner, hands it off to Oland. Olin loses the puck though, the Rapids get it and they make a breakout. Clayton 
crosses the blue line. Takes a shot on net for a rebound. We're back at even strength here. And the Rapids are trying to put a little pressure on, but the Eagles gain control again and start to make their way out of their zone. That's Fortson with the puck, crosses the blue line, makes a little play in front, makes a little backhand shot. Easy save and easy to cover. Grant controlling that one easily as it comes in off the soft backhand from Tyler Fortson. Tyler Fortson looking solid so far in this game. The entire Sioux Eagles team with really effective shots so far. 42 on the board so far for them. Four going in. And the offensive zone draw. And the Rapids win the draw on that one. McGill behind the net throws it around. Lefebvre tries to clear it but can't get it out. Dolan for the Eagles is in the corner fighting for it with several Rapids. And the Rapids eventually clear the zone. They break into the Eagles end with an attempt to pass across. That was tipped before it got to the target. Pratt now has it behind the net for the Eagles and he's starting to clear out of the end. Crosses the blue line, crosses the red line. Lose control of the puck and ends up getting just thrown down into the rapid zone. Now McGill has it. He's trying to clear out there. Lefebvre makes a pass up. Misses the target. All the way down, no icing, but Pratt picks it up for the Eagles. Fires it up, but Lefebvre gets a stick on it and keeps it in. The Rapids are now trying to make a play down in the corner. And there's a passing back around. Lefebvre has it in the corner now. And he tries to pass it back towards Melsness, but doesn't get to him. Goes across. Carr has it in the far corner. He shoots it back around. Back behind the net. He's play with the puck there. His Mason is back and forth and side to side with it. He has it in the corner. Throws it back to Jesse Lefebvre. Melsness has it now. He tries to make his way out from the corner, but loses control of the puck. Back to McGill at the point who shoots it in. Tipped away by the stick of the goaltender. And now Dolan for the Eagles has it out. He's crossing into the Rapids zone. Over to Froon who backhands it across the net but not on. Humpy has it. Punches in to keep it but there's no control of the puck. It's just up against the boards with a bunch of players jabbing at it. The ref's yelling for removing the puck but no sign of that yet. And the Rapids get it out. McGill throws it across to his D partner. He fires it off the glass and makes it out. Hoppy grabs it at the red line, throws it back into the rapid zone. It's picked up behind the net, thrown up to Trelot. McGill has it, hands it off. And Scholes crosses the blue line, just offside, and the play is whistled down. French River once again on the breakout, unable to fully control their timing being called for offside a bit better in the second period with it as well fortunately for them they were held in their own zone but it was a problem in the first hopefully it doesn't get the better of them here in the third and the Eagles win that draw control it back into their own zone passing it back and forth between defensemen the breakout pass is intercepted shot at the net but misses wide and the Eagles try to get it out again. And this time it bounces down just into the Rapids zone. The Rapids pick it up and they try to control it for their own breakout. But the Eagles intercept that process. Fire it back down. Some bouncing around in the neutral zone. The Eagles get it all the way down into the Rapids end. Grant comes out, stops it behind the net. But Fortson was almost the first one there. So the Rapids had to fire it away quickly. They got it in the corner. And they're able to get it out now. Grishachev has it wide. Goes down behind the Eagles net. Passes it back to the point. Shot right into the glove of Eagles goaltender Zolezzi, who is now up to 18 shots against. Zolezzi facing 18 shots. One getting by, which was the breakaway goal there by Tyler Trelout. Had a really good move there and has so far been the only one to beat him here tonight. Looking solid tonight is Zolezzi. And the Rapids won that inside the Eagles zone. But it's been bouncing around, no real solid control. And the Eagles get it, Hendry has it on the boards, makes a pass across, doesn't match up to Pouliot. 
but they're able to get it into the zone anyway. Over to Hendry, intercepted by the Rapids. That's played up. The Rapids are now down. Bisco has a cross, and we have a penalty coming up against the Eagles. For an, I'm assuming that's going to be interference. Seems like interference. So we'll see if the Rapids on this play have uh, two minutes to try and get themselves within two and, and keep themselves in this game. And that is Oland going off on the call there. <whistles> Has not updated yet so far, regardless. French River on their first power play of this period. And the puck had dropped, but it was blown down by the linesman outside of the faceoff. We'll go at it again. The Rapids win that one. Back to Carr at the point. Comes in, takes a shot, and it's blocked by Starmoski. The Rapids have it again at the point, but they lose control. Belanger has it, and he's skating down. Trying to dance by Mason, but he can't quite get past him. And Scholes has it now for the Rapids. Trying to make a play in towards the net. Quick shot. And I thought he had him beat five hole, but the Sioux Eagles goalie was able to close it up and cover up the rebound. So Leslie sliding a little bit there on the save. Manages to just get his glove on it and push his body back while keeping the puck forward. Yeah. Off that excellent shot there. Minute 32 remaining in the power play. So Leslie's still looking good. And probably... One of French River's best opportunities for another goal there on that rush. Yeah, that was a great play by Schulles. And as the puck drops, the Rapids win it but aren't able to control. And survive back down in the corner. Melsness has it. He's back to the point. And now they're holding it on the outside. Twisting and turning with the puck. He spins it or sends it around to Schulles. And then it goes down to Melsness. And Scholes takes a shot, but it doesn't make it through to the goal. An Eagle player grabs it and fires it down the ice. Grant is out to stop it behind the net. The Rapids come back and pick it up. And their breakout continues on. And Stringer had it. He loses control as he crossed the blue line, but it is inside the Sioux end. And the Rapids are trying to force it further and further down. And the Eagles are trying to pop it back out. But the Rapids come away with it. And the Stringer has it in front, in amongst a few guys. Back. Melsness has it now. Spinning around. Falls down, loses the puck. And the Eagles trying to pick it up with Mason and Chase. And the Eagles are able to fire it all the way down to Grant. Carr picks it up off of Grant, takes it behind his own net. Leaves it there. Bisdale picks it up, starts skating down the ice. He loses the puck as he enters the zone. So the Eagles are able to grab it again and just fire it down. With two seconds left, the, the penalty is now over, back to even strength. And in attempting, Sue takes, picks off the breakout chance. And they have a good shot from in close, but doesn't get anything on net. And Delhi's just, again, Handed a gift in front of the net, fires it, misses the net. Clayton for the Rapids has it behind his own goal. Passes it out, start to run the breakout. Bisdell has it, passes it across the stringer. He has Lefebvre and Bisdell with him, fires it right into the chest of Zalesi, and he holds on to that one. And an overall effective penalty kill there for the Sioux Eagles. French River not getting too many shots up on the board there. Can't confirm that that was Jack Oland on interference. The Eagles' first trip to the sin bin in this period and since the first period, and since the first period. They stayed out of the box in the second. And the Eagles win that draw in their own zone. Fire the puck around, Pouliot grabs it on the board, throws it up to Hendry, who has a player streaking in with him. Fires it on the net for a rebound. And the Sioux Eagles player plows into the net. Throwing it off its moorings again. And ending the play. And a quick rush there. Buzz Paveski, I believe. 
makes contact with the net, trying to make himself available for Numbles Mini two on one there, but nothing doing. French River defender stayed close and was able to take away that passing opportunity. Shots 43 to 20 here with 10.23 remaining. And the Rapids win that face up in their own zone. Mason grabs it, throws it across to McGill. He passes it up. And Schulist takes a shot that's tipped high and wide. And looked a little upset by something that the Eagles player had done in the effect of blocking a shot. It's starting to creep down in time. 10 minutes, 10 seconds remaining here in the final frame. Desperation got to be starting to set in a little bit for this French River team. Had similar score line to start the period yesterday versus Espinola. And the Eagles win that draw, fire it around. Majeski chips it out of their end. And there's some back and forth in the neutral zone, but the Eagles have the puck now. Pass back to Majeski in his own zone. Misses that one. And makes it to Fox. Passes up to Blanchet, hops his stick. Grisachev for the Eat Rapids sends it back, but then now the Eagles are going back into the rapid zone. Around behind the net, picked up by a rapid player behind the net. He's spinning away from Belanger, but Belanger steals it from him. Fox gets it back at the point, makes a little move around a sprawling shot block. Pass out to Belanger, who shoots it in front. And that's a great save by Grant. Here we are at 9.23 with our mid-period break. For the final time this game, we would like to make great mention of the NOJHL and the Canadian Mental Health Association working together on the Talk Today program to foster mental health awareness and reduce stigma in NOJHL communities. To learn more about local mental health and addiction supports, please visit CMHA Sudbury slash Manitoulin at 111 Elm Street, Sudbury, or go to sm.cmha.ca. That is sm.cmha.ca. I would also like to mention that today is the birthday of longtime cameraman Mike Brown. He's been shooting the Boston Voodoo's for a while now. It's his birthday today. Well, some of us here on the broadcast have had breaks. Mike Brown has been here for every single one on the camera doing an outstanding job. And a little round of applause for the birthday boy here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mike Brown. And we will be getting back to the action in just a second here as the mid-period break, final one of the game, ends here. And we're lining up just to the trapper side of Grant. Belanger against Lefebvre for the face-off. Belanger wins. But there's some bouncing around. No clear control of the puck. The Eagles grab it and fire it deep. Clayton picks it up from Grant, fumbles it. Belanger grabs it, throws it across in front of the net. Grant slides across, and there's no puck there as it's been cleared away by his defense already. Belanger has it behind the net again. Oh, the big shot from the point. And Majeski's trying to pass it around. Schweitzer has it. Back to Oland. Oland's making moves, passes off to Belanger. Belanger throws it back into the corner for Schweitzer to grab. Oland circles around, gets it at the point. Olin leads it in the corner for Belanger. Belanger throws it back to the point to Majeski. Majeski feeds it across. One-timer shot. Big save by Grant. Files, flies into the corner. And Trelout gets it for the Rapids and fires it out. And that's a going to be a tripping call coming up. And he looks like there's a Rapid player down and hurt. He stripped it up and went flying into the boards in an awkward position. With speed, that was French River Rapids player. That was Bizdil. Bizdil, and uh, pushing up the zone there, just catches a stick under the feet, and went down hard, and with 8-10 remaining, two minute advantage for the French River Rapids, haven't been able to get anything done on the power play here and losing one of their 
most effective players so far in this game. They've got to take advantage of this. Yeah, and he went right off the bench, and he's doing some stretching off to the side, so I'm not sure if he's going to be back this game or not. But the Eagles trying to win that draw, but the Rapids ended up with it. Solis has it at the point. Feeds it across to... And then the shot makes it in. That was Mason with the shot from the point there. A little bit of pushing back and forth inside around the goal after the whistle blew. 21st shot of the game here is put forward onto Zalezi, and his rebound control has looked near perfection in this one. It's back, Mason has it, throws it in. There's some stick handling around in the corner. Moves it back to Schullist. Schullist has it, skating around. Loses control of it. Foon grabs it, feeds it off to Caulfield. Caulfield in fighting for the puck. He's not able to skate away with it, but able to waste some precious time. We have Schullist trying to make it down into the corner with it. Throws a big hit. French River has a puck. Melsness has it. Throws it back to the point to Christopoulos. Christopoulos makes a pass, but it ends up back in him. And he loses it to Caulfield, who's able to break it out of the zone. But Christopoulos picks it up again. Here's a Chev. Has it for the Rapids now, breaking in. Takes a hit. And Fox grabs the puck and tries to fire it out, but it's not able to clear the zone. Delis is over. Pressing against Mason. So Mason wraps around the net. Comes back around looking for someone to pass off to. Leaves it for Scholes at the point. Scholes takes a shot. And it goes in deep and it's bouncing around. And it's loose. It's deemed no goal. And there's some back and forth pushing and playing. It looks like the Eagles are going to end up with another man in the box. for extracurriculars. When a man was down, he went up and knocked him over again. As Melnis looks like he's having some trouble staying on his feet, he looks like he hurt his ankle or his leg. And a close call there for the Eagles. Looks like the puck came awfully close to entering the net, bringing this within two. And for 27 seconds, this will be a five on three in favor of the French River Rapids, 637 remaining on the clock. And that will be Kobe Fox, a big piece of the penalty kill and the power play for the Sioux Eagles being taken off the ice. And I'm not sure the reasoning for it, but the faceoff is coming outside of the Eagles end. So we'll have a faceoff on the near side boards outside of the Eagles end. Belanger in for the faceoff against Lefebvre. Belanger wins the faceoff to Blagna. Throws it out. Lefebvre keeps it inside the line. He's making a play with it. He throws it across the front but no one's there to receive it. Bisdell has the puck down to Stringer. Stringer feeds it across to Lefebvre. Lefebvre isn't able to get the shot off in time and Zalezi is able to make it across and smother that up. Zalezi doing a good job of tracking the puck through traffic there. Finding it right beside his net and hopping all over that. Again, negating a rebound. We have the same centers in again. This time, Lefebvre wins the draw. Lefebvre and Belanger are fighting for the puck. Clayton has it out. High slot shot. Top corner scores. What a beautiful shot by Clayton to bring this game back to within two. It's always a pleasure to see a water bottle pop up like that. Finds that high blocker shot, clearing away. And I believe that that will be the end of the man advantage for French River as the one penalty had already expired. Cuts this lead to two with six minutes, five seconds remaining on their 23rd shot. And it's now or never time for the French River Rapids as they are slowly clawing their way back in this one. 
And the Eagles clear it down into the rapid zone. And Grant covers it up. And we'll have a face off to his trapper side. And a really good effort along the board there on that previous play. Two fight for the puck, sprawling, getting that pass out and seeing that your player was open. And a great goal by Kai Clayton, assisted by Dominic Bisdell and Jesse Lefebvre. And Jesse Lefebvre we're quite familiar with on the front line as he played with the Trappers and his uh, battalion prospect. Plays back underway here, Bisdell behind the net, fighting with Hentry. Bisdell's gonna take a penalty on that for after the puck got away from them, he gave quite a cross check to Hendry. And just as you're starting to get momentum back late here in the third period, you can't be taking penalties like that. You really can't. No, that one was a, a pointless penalty that didn't serve much of a function for anything. After a frustrating game yesterday against Espinola and then a tight battle here against the Sioux Eagles, you can understand how emotions might be high, but you got to be in control of that if you want to be able to come back in a game like this. Yeah, and the unfortunate situation is with the Rapids program. They haven't had a successful team in a few years. So, you, you know, you got to be a more in control of that. you got to be used to it by now, and you have to deal with it the right way. Absolutely. The Rapids try and clear it out, but the Eagles able to hold it in. And that's Pawesky on the far side, dumping it in, Oland now fighting for it. Schulist knocks Oland off the puck, and the Eagles are able to get it out. Mason has it, he's trying to get by Belanger. He throws it back, trying to meet his man in front, but Fortson grabs it, and the Eagles start their breakout again. But a little sloppy stick handling, gets it loose in the end, but Poeski ends up with it. Carries it in, and that's a beautiful shot by Olin that is stopped by Grant. And they break out, there's two. Haslam is in with them, takes a shot. Scholes tried to pass over to Haslam, but didn't make it. And now the Eagles collect the puck again and start heading up. Ha Lewin crosses the line. He passes it back to Fortson. Fortson over to Blanger. Blanger back to Hendry. Hendry's skating around over to Fox. Fox controls it for a little while. Waits for the right guy to open up. Schweitzer has it now. Takes a shot on net. Misses. The Rapids grab and try and fire it up when Majeski keeps it in. Majeski over to Blanger, one-timer. Grant is there, though, for the save. Back to Blanger again. Back to Schweitzer at the point. Schweitzer back to Fox. Fox takes a shot wide of the net. And the Rapids are able to clear it, and they're making a race down to get to the first one to it. With six seconds left, five seconds left in the power play. The power play's all but done. And the Sioux Eagles grab it in the close corner. Hendry has it. Being pressured by Trilo, just passed it off to Schweitzer, who has the puck now down across the red line, over to Hendry back again, who's coming in, shot off the glove and wide. Fox has it now, plays it in down, trying to meet Hendry, over to Belanger, back to Fox, shot in, rebound off to the close side boards. And Belanger trying to play it back, but that's just right to Clayton of the Rapids. Clayton skates in, pass to Stringer. Stringer makes a move, cuts in front, fires a shot, but it's blocked. Lefebvre has it, passes it across, and that was a close play, having a big chance. So Leslie was on his way over, but he wasn't able to get the shot off in time. And loose puck ended up finding its way to Zalesi for him to just cover up. French River with a couple of chances there on the two on two chance there at the dying seconds of their power play unable to actually convert and Fox was able to corral those two 
And the Eagles have it in their end now. And Sabo makes a play out. Rapids pick it up in the neutral zone. Trying to control it. Grishchev has it. Over to Bizdal. Bizdal passes it up to Lefebvre. Lefebvre chips it up. And that's Stringer who has it now. In with Clayton. Going around behind that. Throws it out in front, but there's only Eagles there. And they're able to get it out of the zone. Front has it. He's going out for Zabo. He has Caulfield with him who takes a shot. Rebound out in front. Zabo's fighting for it, but the Rapids walk away with it. It's kept in by Starzomsky. Hopping at the other end has it. And they're fighting for it in the corner of Zabo, but the Rapids come away with it again. As Bizdil in the corner taken down. And Melsness takes it in, flips it in right on goal, and he just grabs it with his glove. And we're gonna have a face off with 149 inside the Eagles end. And we see French River has, oh, nope, he was just hiding behind you, Ben. <laughs> but on that note, we will have to keep an eye on the French River goaltender as we can assume French River calls a timeout here with a minute 49 remaining within yeah. two this game's not quite over yet. No, there's still still plenty of time for them to come back and get even in this one. I don't know if that's in the cards, but there's time for it for sure. We've seen multi-goals scored in less time than is on the board in this tournament already on this pad. Yep, and I suspect, I suspect that we aren't about to see it again. Just with how zelezi has been playing, he's been playing solid. 24 shots, 22 so, saves. So for them to, at, at that statistical rate, for them to score, they would need to get another 20 shots on net. Now, you know, life doesn't work in statistics. Hockey likes to think it does, Yeah, but it's a fast game. Yeah, and sports, sports people like to do it, but as you notice, we have an empty net now, so it'll be six on five for the... It's back to Clayton at the point. The Rapids did win that draw. That's Mason back and forth with Clayton a few times. Down in the corner, Trelot tries to throw it in front. And Melsness gets it. Goes in behind the net to Mason. And Mason on the sideboard, back and forth a little bit. Trying to make a play, and he scores! Picks a short side corner from a weird angle. And it's a one goal game. You were saying, Ben? Sharp angle shot finds the five hole on a weird angle. 4 3 game with 1 2 3 on the clock. And what a shot. Like I said, life doesn't always live by statistics. Absolutely not. We'll have his draw back here at center. The goal is back in the net now. The Eagles are able to clear it down, but Mason picks up the puck. Throws it across to Clayton. He passes it up. Trelout is unable to control it though, so it just gets dumped in. And the Eagles are trying to get it out of their zone now. Now the Rapids have control, but Clayton has it. Throws it up. Melsness tips it in. And he's going towards the net. And he has a shot and it's sent wide. We have Pouliot in the far corner fighting with Mason. Mason gets out. But now we have Blagna trying to break it out of the zone and he gets out. And now we have Eagles with numbers, but the pass doesn't make it through. Good defensive play by Clayton there. Chips it around to Trelout. Trelout back to Clayton. Clayton's trying to make escape for it, but he's got Pouliot pestering him. And as Trelout or Clayton goes back, the goalie comes out of the net, and we're back to five, six on five. It's a pass across. Melsness makes it in to Trelout. Back to Melsness. And we're in deep, and that's a weird bouncing puck, but the Rapids end up back in control of it. Fired back out front. And that clears the zone, and Treload has to come back to get it. He has Majeski on him, fired it back down, and there we reach the buzzer. And this is a 4-3 game. Final score, 4-3 in favor of the Sioux Eagles, despite French Rivers Best last ditch effort there. A great final few minutes of play there from French River. 
an overall great effort, but Zalesi looked fantastic. The offensive power of the Sioux Eagles was too much, and 48 shots to 26 in favor of the Eagles was really the difference maker on this one. Yeah, I mean, nearly doubled shots, and the score being so close as to that, you know, I would not have guessed that this game was going to come out this way. Grant came in and had a fantastic third period. I wouldn't be surprised if he was chosen as a player of the game. Didn't let in a single goal on the many shots he faced in the third there. Yep. From the other side. It would be hard to deny Zalezi, but after the third goal there, wouldn't be surprised to see it go to someone who put in many points like Caulfield Freund on the board a couple times I believe Caulfield and Freund both going for a goal and an assist each and we will have our player of the games now for those of you who are unfamiliar I would, Caulfield had two assists and a goal so if I had to pick someone I'd probably pick him. He looked really great out there. But a, a lot of the guys on their roster looked great as well. So, For those of you tuning in who don't know, the opposing team chooses the other team's player of the game as a sign of who they thought was the best to play against. And we should have the call on that in just a moment here as the referees skate back to center ice. And Oland is decided to be player of the game for the So Eagles. And Carlone for his efforts throughout the first two periods and the onslaught of shots he faced will be granted player of the game for the French River Rapids. And that will wrap it up here for game three on pad two of day two of the NOJHL Showcase, and we will be back shortly with the final game of the tournament between the Powassan Voodoos and the home Sudbury Cubs. I'm Harris Clements. He's been long. We'll see you after this.